Hello guys and welcome to a new We Talk To You video. Today we're here with the FedTurk 101, the new drone training system, and we're going to see if this is a good step for getting into the FPV, if you have no idea about FPV. Let's go inside. Well guys, as you see here, the quadcopter, the recon goggles and also the controller. Um, this video actually, uh, we wanted to uh, start getting ourselves a little bit into FPV racing. And you know, what happens to people like us that we're used to drones that hover for taking aerial footage and this kind of DJI drones, this kind of drones. Uh, when getting into FPV, what happens is that you first of all start looking on the internet and see that there's a lot of stuff that you don't know what it means. Uh, lots of parts of the drones and you at some point get saturated. As we were doing this, this FedShark 101 came into our hands and they promised to solve all these kind of problems for people starting into FPV. Because in the end, what you're actually gonna use are three main parts, the quadcopter, the controller, and the goggles. So in this video, before starting to tell you all the details and everything that is included on the box, um, I wanted to see myself as I'm a complete noob. I'm a full noob. I have never really flown a FPV racing drone. Uh, see if it is good for me. See if it works for me and see if my zero experience is not a problem for this drone. So let's take a look how it goes for me. By the way, we brought the RE goggles from DJI to record what this little boy is now capable of doing when flying. Well, let's turn this on. Well guys, this is the beginner level. Uh, it's pretty pretty easy to use. Me that I never used one. Look at this. This is me. I think I'm kind of doing it great. So this is pretty easy here. Easy to fly. Beginner mode. Let's go into the intermediate mode and there's also a pro mode. So let's test them. Okay, so let's go with the intermediate mode. Yeah, pretty cool too. Does not seem too difficult. So now let's test the pro mode. <laughs> well, this is the pro mode. I just crashed it again. Um, it's kind of difficult, but I think I can manage to uh, learn this in a couple of hours, maybe. Just give me one more try, please. Well, I don't know if you filmed the crash, Chivo, but um, one of the props broke. I don't know if you can see it here, it's missing. And also the cab of one of the motors down below is also missing. Anyways, we've got some replacements and we're gonna replace the prop. We got four of them and also we got two pieces of this that cover the motor, so it's not really a problem. And once we tested in easy mode, as you could see, it was very easy, even me could fly it. Uh, the intermediate mode, I got a little bit more of problems and on the pro mode, it was kind of very hard for me and I just crashed it and broke a couple of things. But now um, I'll give you some of the details and we'll see Chivo fly. <laughs> By the way guys, please leave a thumbs up for this amazing location we came here with Chivo because, uh, you know, we weren't sure if we we're gonna hit someone with this racing drone and we looked for something abandoned so we could not harm anyone. So please leave it and support us. Thank you. The FedShark 101 is actually FedShark's first drone and is ready to fly out of the box. It includes now also three levels, as we mentioned before. Beginner mode, intermediate and pro mode. 
One of the good things of the 101 is that actually all the parts are upgradable. This means you can buy as many as you want and crash them and just put them new again. And all the fat sharks, if you do have some one, the V3, the HD3, are all compatible with this drone. The batteries are rechargeable via USB with this charger right here. You can plug this into your computer. And this is the controller that comes in the um, 101 box and it's very simple and easy to use. You can just turn it on by clicking on this button by hitting, pushing this button right here. The two sticks and this buttons right here. If it's turned up the stick, it's the beginner mode, intermediate and pro level. And here, if you turn this down right now, if I do like this, the props will start spinning once you do this. So always remember to keep it like this. Also, it works with four average batteries. You know that the 101 and the FPV drones are not like DJI drones. So remember that this one is the throttle. This one is the yaw. If you want to change the pitch, you'll go here. And if you want to change the roll, you go this way. This are the Recon goggles that, as you can see, they look kind of the uh, DJI goggles. They are bigger than the usual Fat Sharks. And first of all, we have to connect, of course, the antenna right here. The joystick, actually, if you press it once, it will um, make an automatic frequency search or scan to find the drone, in this case. If you maintain it pushed, it will go to the menu and there you can change the audio, if you want some sounds to come out of the goggles, if you want the data on the screen, not really a big deal. Uh, for a manual channel search, you'll have these two buttons and the joystick, if you go up or down, it will change the brightness inside the goggles and if you go right or left, it will change to more or less the contrast of the image. Finally, to say that down below is the on and off button and the battery is included right here, which is, of course, rechargeable. Finally, also, this is included in the box, as you could see on our unboxing uh, a couple of days ago. Look at this, it almost hit my face. Uh, we're gonna test this. Now, we'll, Chivo will be flying and see if he is pro enough to get through this hole. And also, remember to subscribe if you want more FPV racing stuff. He's been using the simulator for a few hours, and I believe he will do better than me. It's actually me filming, this is why it sounds a little bit weird, but he's there, the drone is there, and we're ready to fly. Evo is now flying in pro mode, and he's doing also pretty good, so the hours using the simulator seem to pay good off. And Chivo, do you want to try to do some flips or anything? Yeah. Now we set up the two gates down there. Let's talk a little bit about our experience using this now for half an hour and um, it's very positive first because me as a noob could fly it in beginner and a little bit in intermediate mode and this was for me pretty good and Chivo who has been using the simulator quite a couple of times uh, could fly it also in pro mode. The interesting thing the controller that you purchase on this 101 pack, you can use it for the different simulators you already have. So it's just like a PS4 controller, for example, that you will be able to use it. Also, um, when buying this bundle, the 101 bundle allows you, once you register the drone, to um, use a simulator for free. This is also very interesting. Besides the free simulator, you also have a three month membership on the Academy of Model Aeronautics and also an insurance of them. Also, the quality inside here is 360p, 
which may sound a little bit low, but Fatshark says that the most important thing here is the latency. And we have to say that the latency was pretty, pretty awesome. So it was, it was really a good thing. The only thing that we may not like a lot is that at some point, 50% uh, battery or so of the drone, the image goes black and white. Ah, this is not the optimum, but anyways, um, today it was cloudy, so it was not very colorful anyways. But this is something that has to be improved in the future. Let's talk if for 249 bucks you will be able to introduce yourself into the FPV world. The answer is pretty much yes. We had a lot of fun. It's just the first time, but I can imagine that with this ready to fly out of the box, it just avoided me a lot of headaches in the future. And of course, um, this is a good value for the price. Also, the good thing here is that you can connect the uh, fat sharks to, uh, if you go to a competition or something, you can just uh, sync into another people's channel and see what they are watching. So this is also pretty good. So is this actually a good drone training system? Yes, it is. Fat Shark has done an amazing job here and we believe this can bring the FPV to a mass population to you know that more people use it and introduce themselves avoiding all those motors and controllers transmitters and all that stuff nothing else to say leave a comment if you're interested in anything we are pretty happy with this drone and always remember to keep calm and talk uav